Another thing I've been working on is uh, repacking the bearings. The uh, torque tube. So these are the bearings that go in there. It's a specific bearing which you cannot find. They're uh, an odd size metric. So these ones here have been picked apart. Uh, the back shield has been put back on these. I have to take a little bit of the grease out yet because you don't want too much grease in the side of these bearings and cleaned all the seals. Uh, so I just used a paint thinner, pick off the seals, use a paint thinner, clean it out, dissolve it, blow it out, and then clean it up with alcohol after, and then press in the cover back on. I'll do a final using the edge of the pick, pushing that lip all the way into the bearing around. This is really critical because uh, after taking these out, that little lip there might not be seated properly, so you really have to work that into place. Another thing I was working on was the, uh, since I was doing the tensioners for the uh, front timing belt on the 1.6 Chevette. So again, we take off the covers and I had one here to show you. I just got a pick in here and there's a little flat spot right here on this tensioner. You get in underneath here. So there I, I got underneath it without damaging this little lip here. There's a little lip there, you don't want to damage that. So I got underneath where that little flat spot was up by the, the bolt area. And I got underneath to the back corner on the outside. And then I'm going to pull it up. And then just lift it out of there. And then you want to do the same thing. You want to get underneath that little tiny lip. You don't want to damage that little outside seal. Okay, so I... I put the phone down and got this guy underneath here and now I can pull that seal I'll actually just grab it by hand carefully not to bend it just pull it out just like that and what I got here is I got a little nylon brush and I just took a aluminum pie pan I put those into aluminum pie pan and I put some uh, paint in there, in there some kind of solvent and clean up these covers inside and out. And now you can take this tensioner and you can soak it in a tray as well overnight. You can blow it out with air, clean out the balls, and do that a couple times. And clean it with alcohol, dry it off, make sure it's very clean and not rusted. So if these are really, really rough, after you clean them, throw them away. They gotta be fairly smooth yet. If you're gonna rebuild these. And same with the, uh, the bearings for the uh, torque tube drive shaft. I had a couple here that are no good. They're arrested and they're seizing up. So they're gonna be tossed with grease. With the grease that I use, I'm using the Mobile XHP222. Well, what I like about this stuff here is it's a lithium. It's a lithium grease, a number two, and it's a very sticky grease. And this will take some temperature because this is these bearings are going to have some speed to it, especially the drive shaft one here. It's going to have a lot of speed. So these ones here are all cleaned already. So I'm going to start repacking all of these and putting in cleaning the covers and putting them back together just to have them on my shelf. So here I got one one done here. Put the seals back in it. Cleaned it up, make sure there's not overpacked with grease. Here's another one I'm gonna put together. So you can see there's quite a cavity below below the shoulder here where the seal's gonna sit. There's a cavity there. You don't want that to be too full. Just gonna get that guy back in there. And they go in fairly easily. Do not touch the inside lip. Make sure that these are really, really clean. As you can see, 
right here. You can see how dirty the inside is. This one's not been cleaned yet. So I did that side. And this side here. I'm get that seal back in there. And I find that these things, they're, they're loose. They can spin, so a little bit of silicone just to keep it in place. I'm going to do that on both sides. So use the edge of the pick. Just drive around and push that corner, that seal, all the way in to the bottom. So that's my fix for it. I've done some before and I've had, had them on the cars for three years and I've got no issues. So here's a bunch of them I, I packed or just sitting here. What I do is I wipe out all that grease, I clean it all and I push it in my finger with a glove, push it right down into the balls in the race cage and then wipe it all out with a clean, I use the blue shop towels have a nice setup, a nice clean area that you can work, cover it up after you're going to leave it. So we got the seals all put back in on these five here. I've cleaned them and uh, for added insurance, I just like to add a little bead of silicone on each 90 degree corner of the seals front and back. Because sometimes I find that uh, after cleaning these and putting them back in, they're not as tight as they should be. And if there's some grease pressure it, over too much grease, it could push the seal out. So we did the backs, same as the front. And I'm going to let that cure because it's getting late. Time to shut this thing down. Cover it up with some paper.